Hey everybody. Today we're making some pie charts using R. First and foremost, it's important to recognize that a pie chart is almost never your best option for representing proportions for a categorical variable, whether you're using R or any other tool. A better go-to is a bar chart, like the one I've already pulled up here in the lower right-hand corner of my screen. And uh, after I've made a couple of pie charts, I'll come back to this and talk a little bit about why the bar chart is a better option. I'm going to be looking at the Penguins data set that loads up in the model data package here. And uh, I've loaded that already as well as the Tidyverse family of packages as usual. Okay, so uh, the Penguins data set is tidy data. We have one row per observation. So we have um, just a bunch of rows for dailies, a bunch for chin straps, a bunch for Gen 2s. We don't actually have counts for any of those three different species. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is to actually get those counts to figure out how many of each of these we have. And I'm doing that using the count function. So I'm taking penguins, piping it into count, and then saying what categorical variable I want to count, species. And uh, the output here is just a very simple data frame, two columns, species, and n, where n is representing the counts. So we have 152 adalies, 68 chin straps, 124 gen 2s. Okay, rather than just jumping right in to make the pie chart that I'm trying to get, I'm first going to do something else. I'm going to do a stacked bar chart. Let's go ahead and execute this. Um, I'm not going to talk about this code in depth. I have a whole video on bar charts. I'll throw a link up top. It's actually a really deep topic and a vid I'm proud of. So check it out if you're interested. The reason I'm doing a stacked bar chart first is that the dirty little secret about, a, about pie charts is that they really are just stacked bar charts where the y-axis has been twisted around in a circle to take on um, a polar scale. So to take this stacked bar chart and make it into a pie chart, all I do is copy and paste this code. That's what I have down here and add one extra line to say, take that y-axis and wrap it around in a circle. And in R, the command that we want is coord underscore, underscore polar, and then which variable we're specifying, in this case, y. So let's execute that. It's not gonna look perfect yet, but that's okay. Uh, theme minimal, there we go. Spelling always matters, not my strong suit. Okay, so the sort of numbers going around in the circle here look kind of weird. I've left them in for a reason, which is that they correspond exactly to the y-axis on this previous stacked bar chart, um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 300, here. So um, you can literally see that y-axis has been wrapped around in a circle here. Now, if you're making a pie chart, for instance, for a professional presentation, you've got some business people you want to impress with your nice looking pie chart, you aren't going to want that scale in there, so you want to replace theme minimal with theme void. There we go. Okay, so um, this pie chart looks okay visually, but it is not the best as a data visualization. It is difficult to estimate the differences between these two, these three groups using the pie chart, certainly when compared to the bar chart that we started with. Here I can tell, fortunately, that there are more Gen 2s than chin straps and more dailies than, um, than Gen 2s. But I'd be at a bit of a loss if I had to estimate the proportions. Are there twice as many dailies as chin straps three times? It's not easy to tell. The human eye doesn't do a great job at estimating angles. Compare that with the bar chart here. Let's start with this one where I can literally see that I have 150 adalies and about 125 Gen 2s. Give or take, I know I'm not getting those two exactly right, but I can estimate the differences in the proportions very easily just at a glance. I can tell that there are more than twice as many adalies as chin straps, for instance. So this um, pie chart that we're seeing, um, although it carries the same information technically, is, uh, is less visually communicative. So if you do need a pie chart, it's considered best practice to add labels, to actually put those proportions in there somewhere in your visualization, either in your legend, like I have, like um, in this legend that I have here, 
maybe sitting outside the pie pieces here or putting them inside. I'll do the ladder here and I won't talk through this code carefully. Um, I will pause on it and I will put the code on my GitHub as usual. So um, first of all, I'm getting a slightly better summary data set, ping sum, pen summary, penguin summary. I'll print that out just so you can see what it is. There we go. Pen underscore sum, thank you very much. All right, so what I've done, in addition to just the counts that I had before, I have arranged them in descending order by species, so the Gen 2 comes first. Calculated the fraction in each of the groups. So there what I did is I took the number in the group, divided by the total number, rounded it to two decimal places. So you'll notice the round function in there. Then I've added a percentage sign by taking that fraction, multiplying it by 100, and then pasting on a percent sign. Paste zero, by the way, just um, is a shortcut so that you don't have any separation character. Don't have to specify that you don't want a separation character. So now I have this percentage column, character vector, 36%, 20%, 44%. Finally, I've created a column for Y position that I'm gonna use when I actually make the plot. So the, let's actually do it. I'll show the code for the stacked bar chart. There we go. This takes a little bit of tinkering. What you're trying to do here is use geome text where the heights are going to be the corresponding percentages for the different groups. And all I've done is to try and get the heights so that they correspond to the middle of the appropriate spots here. It's not hard with a little bit of practice. I encourage you to take a look at my code, work on this on your own. And then of course we can get our corresponding pie chart just by adding our friend chord polar. And there it is, a more reasonable looking pie chart that does include labels.